Creating doors in Hammer is pretty easy. First, we're gonna create a sliding door. I'm gonna create a very basic wall with the block tool and a gap for the door. I'm gonna make the grid smaller so I can create a smaller block by using this tool which shrinks the grid size. Now click on your block and hit Ctrl T. Change the class to a funk underscore door and click apply. Now we've created a door and we can change anything we want on the door. I'm going to change the open sound of the door to make it play a sound when it's open. I'm going to change the delay before reset to 5, meaning that when we open the door, it closes automatically after 5 seconds. I'm also going to change the move direction. You can use this line which corresponds with a top down view of our map. So if we lined it up this way, it would move to the right. I'm going to select the up option, so my door moves up. Up here, we can click the flag section to make our door behave differently. I'm going to take use opens and touch opens. This means that if the player presses E on the door, it will open, and if the player walks into the door, it will also open. Now hit F9 and compile your map. As you can see, if we walk into the door, it opens, but there's also a visual bug here. To fix this, set the lip property to a higher number and the door will stick out a little bit more instead of being inside the wall. We can also wait for 5 seconds and see that our delay before reset takes effect and the door closes. If we want to make this door rotate and be a prop, we can use funk underscore door underscore rotating. It works pretty similar, but we just need to set a world model which is the prop that the door uses. If you want a door that's specifically made for this, we can search for door o one underscore left. Yours will probably look a little bit different to mine because I forgot that I have some custom models installed. Now if you just hit apply, our door will be spawned in. We also have a load of options and flags to pick from just like we did before. I'm going to go to the flag section and hit use closes and starts open to true. You don't have to do starts open and if I was you I probably wouldn't. Now that we're in game, we have a functioning door which starts open and when we click E on it, it has a nice animation to it.